Greetings, Fright fans. Welcome to the Horror Show coverage here at Mad Monster Arizona 2017, where I am seated with the actress, Judith O'Dea, who was in one of the most lastingly appealing and influential horror films I think that has ever been made, Night of the Living Dead. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Oh, it is a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Now, are you local to Arizona now? I could have sworn I overheard that from some of the uh, fellow convention goers. Actually, I moved to Flagstaff, Arizona in about 2008, so. so. Much, much nicer weather up there than here in the valley where we're at right now on the cusp of horrendous heat and everything. I can hardly wait to get behind the wheel and go back up. <laughs> well, thank you for being here with us today. And so I have to start things off by just asking, when you were just in, in the thick of the creation process filming this movie, obviously an independently made film outside of the studio system and whatnot, um, did you really get the feeling you were creating something that was going to be so lastingly um, groundbreaking, I guess? Or was it just, you know, let's, let's get through this and, you know, see, see where it goes from there? Had no inkling that what we were doing would last as long as it has. It's just amazing to us. But, and we didn't want to rush through it either. Yeah. We, we so enjoyed the entire process because this was our, that little group of people, this was our first feature film. So it was very exciting every day of the shoot. So was it the first feature you worked in as well then, I'm assuming? It was. I started my professional entertainment career as a, a musical actress. This was quite a change. Uh, yes, quite a departure, I would say. <laughs> I loved it. Excellent. Um, so it was groundbreaking, obviously, in the fact that um, there was a, a twist of an ending, which people didn't necessarily expect. It was also made in the in the late 60s when, you know, there were certain, um, you know, tensions and things of that nature. And to have an African-American lead was also groundbreaking as well. Um, what, what was your thoughts on just the, the chemistry between yourself and, um, and, and, and him? And Dwayne? First of all, I believe that having Dwayne and Barbara, black man, white woman, was one of the most wonderful things we have in that film. Absolutely. And what made it so wonderful was the fact that no big deal was made of the fact that we had a black man and a white woman. Yeah, nor it should was, there have been. <laughs> no, it was people trying to survive. And to, to this day, I think it's one of the strongest attributes of the film. Now, you know the lasting appeal and the fact that it spawned sequels and various other things. Um, here in Hollywood, seemingly recently especially, there is just such an inclination to remake everything and sequelize and franchise everything. There was a remake of Night of the Living Dead that was made in the early 90s. Um, have, have you seen it and uh, what are your thoughts on that compared to, to the one that you acted in? I have seen it. Mm. Patricia Tallman yes. played the role of Barbara yep, in that Tony film. Todd She's and... wonderful. Yes. My feeling is that that stands alone on its own merits. It came out in the early 90s when women were burning their bras and really making themselves known as strong, capable people. So I, there is really no comparison to me, even though the storyline is basically the same, yeah, although... There's a few alterations here and there. Big, yeah. big alterations, mm -hmm. really. But both of them are strong and stand on their own. Excellent, excellent. So um, are you working at all currently, or do you just do convention circuits and things of that nature, or...? Uh... Still working. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> In fact, I promised myself that the day I do not bring value to a project is the day I hang up my hat. Well, there you go. But a uh, short while ago, I starred in uh, the stage production of Doubt, a parable. I have two movies coming out yes, please this plug year. Them properly. Well, one is called Safe Inside. I'll be going to the premiere in June. It was made in Wisconsin by Jason Collum, is the wonderful writer, producer, director of that film. And there's an, another coming out, hopefully, toward the end of the year. It's, uh, it's called Night of the Living Dead Genesis. Oh, I saw that on your IMDb, if I'm not mistaken. There is a little twist to this film that made me want to do it. 
I, that's all I'm going to say. Are you playing the same character? I'm not even going to tell you. Oh, we can't spoil anything there. It's uh, safe and locked away. <laughs> Excellent. So, so did, have you done an extensive amount of stage work as well? Then, do you have a preference between theater or you know, more more typical filmmaking? I suppose. Well, I started on the stage in musical theaters. I, yeah, I mentioned, mentioned yeah. they are two of the most exciting, wonderful mediums of entertainment in the world. Mm. I I love them both. I I couldn't even begin to say there was a preference. I, I just love them both. Different challenges, I would, I, I would suppose. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. So um, is there a website or something like in particular that you would like to plug where people can go and learn more about all of what you're doing? Should they just consult your IMDb or do you have your own website like, uh, like Mr. Russo? Or? I do, and it's www.odaycommunications.com. No day spelled O D E A. Excellent, excellent. Well, once again, Miss, thank you so very much for taking the few short minutes that we have here on the final day of Mad Monster. But I, I have to ask, how how has your experience been at the convention, interacting with the fans? It's been wonderful. In fact, that to me is one of the most exciting things about almost after 50 years of this film is to be able to meet the people who have really made this film what it is. It's enduringly influential. And the conversations I've had are just wonderful. So this has been a great call. Yes, Mad Monster, you always do wondrous work. It's the best. Yes, you heard it straight from the lady's mouth. So, gracias once again, Ms. O'Day. It, it has been a pleasure speaking with you. And until more Mad Monster coverage is coming for you, Fright fans, stay scared. So how awesome was that interview, you guys? It's not that often that you get to talk to an alumni from one of the greatest horror movies of all time, Night of the Living Dead. If you want to see more from them, you go ahead and click on the link at the end of this episode in the last 20 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to the full panel discussion and Q&A that they did at Mad Monster Arizona with everyone that they had from Night of the Living Dead so you can get a full 45 to 50 more minutes of them telling awesome stories and letting you know about one of the best zombie movies ever created. So make sure you go over there and do that. That's on the Mad Monster channel. While you're there at youtube.com slash madmonster, make sure you are subscribing to that channel as well because Mad Monster's got a whole bunch of awesome horror content coming your way in the very near future on that channel and you do not want to miss out on it. So thanks for doing that. Thanks for watching this interview. And until next time, remember, stay scared.